Hello, um, welcome, Nerdillas, Nerdazzles, Pedal Nerds, Pedal, Pedal People. Um, and today it's really Pedal People, not Guitar People or Amp People, it's actually, it's actually Preamp People. That's what you are, you are YouTube Preamp Nerds. Um, I've checked out a couple of really cool demos, I mean, everyone wants these Le Preamp by Two Notes. So, uh, there's really, really cool demos out there. So, what can I, really, what can I add to that? Well, not much. Um, check out... Um, <laughs> couldn't think of his first name. Tom Quayle. <laughs> check out Tom Quayle's demo uh, of the clean. There's someone who can play. And a very nice presentation of exactly what it does. We're going to do the same thing here. But what I want to do is I don't want to do an individual demo for each of them. Not because I'm lazy, but because I want to show you what the different options sound like. Tom showed you the direct out, meaning the uh, XLR compensated out, which sounds really fantastic. But there are a lot more options. So we're going to do a, vid a video. What? A video for each of the options of how to hook it up. And um, we're going to get to that. So there's going to be a video of the direct out, which will be the next video. There's no more sounds in this one. You've already heard them. You heard a track with all of them. So quit your yapping. This is going to be an overview of the features. Um, then there's going to be one where we run through Torpedo's own, a Torpedo's own, two notes own Torpedo cap, which still means you could have a uh, Le Clean, Le Crunch, Le Lead, or R3 on your pedal board, use the cab to get an even better cab simulation, if you so desire. We're going to check this out. That's a separate video. Then there's going to be a video where we see... Um, well, maybe we do this in one video. There's doggies. Hey, doggies. So there's going to be a video where... Excuse me, Bruno. That food is mine. Go away. Or in French, a Bruno. C'est Bruno, le, le chien. Oh, le petit chien. That means small dog. I know things. Um, what was I going to say? He distracted me. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a video where we put them in the effects return of your amp, meaning this is a preamp, so we're going to feed your amp with it, um, just to straight out, and uh, use the amp's power amp and a real speaker to see how they work as a preamp. Um... And while doing this, we might as well plug him into the front of the amp just to see if that makes any sense, which I don't think it does, because this is a preamp going into a preamp. So what do we have? Well, we have pretty much the same thing four times. We have the Le Clean for clean and slightly overdriven sounds, but nothing like, you know, major lead territory or high gain. We have the Le Crunch. Le Crunch? Le, Le Crunch. I think those names are freaking awesome. Two notes. Awesome. Um, uh, Le Crunch is kind of the mid gain territory. He wants the grapes, only that dogs can't have grapes. Do you know that? Dogs cannot have grapes, they will die. I did not know that up, you know, till I met Leslie. So don't feed your dogs grapes because they can die. Public service announcement no grapes for dogs. Even though he would eat the whole thing if I gave it to him. So, Le Crunch is. Uh, the mid gain territory, and then you have the lead, which is the high gain territory. It's a fiery red high gain. Um, and then you have the Le Bus, which is really awesome. I mean, there are very few solutions for bass that really do it for me. The overdriven tones, I'm not sure about uh, with the with the speak out. It was too fizzly for me. Um, I'm going to have to re-record the thing in the beginning again because I recorded it without the speaker simulation. Damn it! So, what you heard in the beginning is something I will record in the future. That wasn't... Okay, I'm an idiot. So, here's the deal. Um, come with their own power supply. They need 500 milliamps, 12 volt. If you have a 12 volt output on your pedalboard power supply that can supply 500 milliamps, there are some that can do that, like the Chalks ones, the bigger ones. Um then you can power this with your pedalboard power supply, but other than that, there is a uh, power supply supplied. Power supply supplied. Um, looks really scary, lots of options, but it's actually okay. 
Um, we have an input. An input, a through, meaning whatever you feed in will just go back out. And we're going to see why that could be cool for a stereo setup. We're going to check this out. Um, input through and ascend. Send and return here because you can loop in effects just like in your amp, which I actually have done here. If you uh, look at the other camera in the Le Clean, I have the Solid Gold Effect Surf Rider for some spring reverb and the Le Lead, I have the El Capistan from Strymon for some tape delay. Le Crunch, empty. Um, and there's MIDI in and MIDI out. Now, why does a preamp need MIDI? That is one of the really cool functions. Um, and I'll get to this. MIDI in, MIDI out. Uh, then here there's a phones out, which will very likely, I haven't checked this yet, sound exactly like the DI out, which is very nice. So if you put some effects in it, plug in your headphones, as a practice amp, this thing kills. Um, and then there's the output. So send, return, and then there's an output. Um, and obviously the XLR balanced DI out, which you can turn on the speaker simulation, which is of course two notes we know makes excellent speaker simulations. And um, I have a feeling that each one is voiced specifically for the type of preamp that it is. And I actually have a way to find out how they're different. And we're gonna do this in the next video. Um, and then there's a ground lift in case you have hum problems. So um, there's a tube in it. And the background of the tube actually lights up in different colors depending on the mode, which is a very cool way of giving you visual feedback over where you are. Now, I can show you on the LeClean, if you're on the A, which is the left foot switch, it lights up green and the tube lights up green. If you're on B, which is the right foot switch, it lights up orange and the tube lights up orange. Pretty simple. Now, if you push both of them, you're in what they call fusion mode, where both channels are doing something together. Now, blue is a cold fusion, and if you push in this, this push button in, you have red, which is hot fusion. Now, the difference is very simple. You have a fusion knob here. So if I dial this all the way down, in cold fusion, what happens is you're pretty much on channel B, and with the fusion knob, you can dial in how much you're mixing in your clean or A channel. So you're just mixing that in. So if you have a nice distortion going on, but you want some clarity, you want some clean notes in addition to it, you're mixing this in in parallel with the fusion knob. Now, if you're in hot fusion, if you use the fusion knob, uh, they are in series. So A is being pumped into B, meaning you can use A as a boost to get more drive out of B. Now, what I've uh, noticed, and again, I've only played with these since yesterday, so I'm not majorly prepared. So, work with me here. Um, what I've noticed is that uh, levels are a big issue here. You really have to juggle the levels like crazy. So, in geese, in geese, uh, increasing the gain, I'm sorry. Mm. Drinking coffee is hard. <clears throat> so increasing the gain uh, means you have to take down your volume. You're constantly juggling gain and volume. Of course, now in fusion mode, when you're in hot fusion, which is where we're right now, red uh, tube or valve for you Brits, um, and Aussies. What, what do the Australians say? Tubes or valves? I'm thinking valves. Um, where was I? So... If you're in hot fusion mode, uh, obviously channel A pushes channel B. That means both gain knobs and both volumes will have something to say, as well as how high the fusion knob is. So you increase fusion, you might have to take volumes down. So it's, it's a balancing act that you have to go through. Now, I want you to... Mm, the, let's, let's do it this way. I, I'll tell you what the setup is that I have here. I'm going in with the guitar out with the uh, output into the input, output into the input, and that's it. In here, in the send, I've got the surf rider, as I already said, in here, in the send and return, I have the El Capistan. Now, there are MIDI cables here, as you can probably see. Can you see these? MIDI cables, and even a MIDI cable going out right here um, into the torpedo cap, which we'll get in a, to in a second. Um, these are right now set up to be
is a right now set up to be in. It's called multi-channel mode. That's what it's called. Um, that simply means that you can actually use these three storm boxes on your pedal board. Granted, it'll be about 900 bucks. But you could have all three preamps on your pedal board and really use it like a three channel amp. No, 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 no. You would actually use this like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve channel amp. Granted, the settings would have to be compatible, whatever, but technically you would have 12 channels at your disposal. Disposal. There's at you'd have 12 channels. And if I'm in channel A on my Leclean, and now switch to channel B on my Lolite, it turns that off. So that means multi-channel mode, meaning I'm on the hot channel on the on the Le Crunch. I want a clean sound, and I'm gonna go and see it turns that off. Obviously, to access hot and cold, you would still have to use your finger. So it's not 12; it's more like nine. It's a nine-channel thing. Um, but you can access hot and cold settings via MIDI. So if you move these upwards on your pedal board behind your looper switcher, like an ES8 or GSC4, anything that is MIDI capable, um, you could literally, literally, um, plug MIDI into the first one, daisy chain them through and, uh, access all the sounds in here. So that would really make it a 12 channel preamp. Now. Um, the MIDI uh, program changes are actually very simple and they made it so they don't get in each other's way. Uh, the Le Clean is program change, I think. Let me check before I tell you crap. Yeah, very simple. One, two, three, three blue, four hot, and then program change five would be bring it in bypass. So you can access all five switching states with program changes one through five. Now on the second one on the Le Crunch, you don't have to have another MIDI channel. You can be on the same MIDI channel. Right now they're on Omni. Um, and it would be six, seven, eight, nine. You get the idea? And so on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, uh, 14, 15, Oh, 10. This goes to 10 for bypass. Um, and so on. So all four of the Le Preamp, uh, the preamps um, are getting out of each other's way with the program changes. Now, the insane thing is, two nodes developed a an interface that allows you to go into menus on this. And I haven't tried this, but we're going to try this right now. And it works like this. You unplug it. You hold in the A button and you plug it in. Okay, and now the LED is white. Let me see. White means MIDI monitor. Now, if something's going wrong with MIDI and you want to find out what are the messages that it's getting in, uh, this can help you with the colors to show you what messages are coming in. Now, the second page, I go to the page with the A switch. Now we're on green. MIDI learn, meaning it doesn't have to respond to MIDI program changes one through five. If you really wanted to switch to the hot fusion mode on program change 87, you can teach it that. So pretty much you're erasing the program change that it reacts to and you're learning it or you're, you're teaching it a new program change. So you can do that there. Going on, yellow, uh, MIDI channel. You can change its MIDI channel, yes. And uh, it's an ingenious way. Um, the A light and the B light will flash a certain amount of times to show you the number. So it would be no flashing or one flashing for zero or one, and then one through six or one through nine flashes. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sixteen, of course. Um, on the uh, on the B switch. So this is you need the manual to know what's going on. But it's an ingenious way to program this without any menus, uh, like uh, a display. What else do we have? Um, red means program change number. Um, ah, 
So you can actually also change what program changes it is sending. Because right now it is sending one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, actually. No five. It's not sending anything when you bypass it. But if you wanted to send a specific program change, you can change it so that A is sending, let's say, program change 40, and then B will be 41, 42, 43. So you can only do packs of four. Very, very clever. And then we have purple, which we haven't seen before. Uh, that is changing from multi-channel mode to a mode where they behave, where they don't turn each other on and off, so that you could actually use one to push the other if you wanted that. Because right now uh, they are mutually exclusive. If, if one is on, the other is off. But I like that, so I'm leaving that. And then blue is a factory reset, and turquoise is the firmware firmware version. I don't know. Let's see what let's see what it is. One, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, four. So it's firmware 03. That's really cool. So the only way to get out of this menu is to disconnect it. Disconnect. Di disconnect it. Disconnect it again. Um, but this is something that you probably do once, set it up the way you want it, and you're done. But it's absolutely possible. Now, these three units being connected this way um, means I'm daisy chaining through. And I'm sending quite a few MIDI commands. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Send. Uh, and then not five. And then six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if you have something like an Eventide H9 or a Strymon or anything that accepts MIDI or your cab. Check this out. I hope you can see this up there. I'm going to my A, and I'm on the first preset called Welcome. I'm going to B, and it's actually changing to preset number two. And now I'm on preset number three, and with the hot mode on preset number four. Now I go to my Crunch A channel. It will turn this off, but it will also go to the next preset. What is that good for? Well, imagine this. You have this on your pedal board, with the cap, okay, granted, it's gonna cost you 1400 bucks to get the lot right here, but you would have the ability to pick your channel and pre program your favorite cab for that sound. So, for the clean ones, you go to a beautiful clean cab. Um, these, this also has a power amp simulation and reverb built in. Um, so, you could have your presets in here, and, and, and that's it, that's your whole setup. Now imagine your setup where, like here, I have certain effects in the loops. How cool is that? So I have my reverb here, but now I have my delay. So you could have, without a looper switcher, this could be your looper switcher setup, changing your MIDI devices, changing probably MIDI devices in the loops. Um, it could be a pedal board only going straight direct to the board setup that's not a modeler. Remember this, this is not a modeler, this is not a Line 6, Camper, Axe FX, whatever. This is two tubes, this is fully analog. Um, obviously, it is more limited in sound possibilities, but it is it's pretty, it sounds pretty damn awesome. Um, and you have tactile functionality. You can just grab any knob and, and set up whatever you want. Um, could be a great studio tool. Again, with the cab on it, killer. Um, what else did I want to hit on? A setup that I have here is I'm actually going DI out into the rig, into my uh, audio interface, which means each of them will always pump out sound. So if I'm recording now and I want to hear this, I have to mute in my audio interface, these two, because they're still pumping out stuff through the speaker simulation, which is why we can actually check the difference between the voicings of the speaker simulation. So if I'm on my B channel here, it will pump out a uh, speaker simulation here, but it's gonna send out this signal into the Le Crunch, which will send it out speaker simulated, and the Le Lead will also send it out speaker simulated. So we can really compare um, the three different sounds. Um, 
Obviously, I can't check the Le Crunch with that speaker simulation because that's not going in here. So I can only check down the line. But we're going to do that. Anything else? Obviously, as I said, they all work the same. The fusion mode works the same. Um, and they are kind of voiced specifically for the, their style. The Lelite is incredibly killer. Right now, I have to kind of get used to the Le Crunch. It's not doing exactly what I want it to do. But maybe during this demo series, we will find its beauty. And uh, the Le Clean is Le Clean. Awesome. So... On to the next video, which will be checking them out with the built-in DI out.